We leave our mooring outside the Anchor Inn at Sorterforth and head north. The canal winds its way through Barnoldswick, where we stop to pick up some groceries before continuing onto the highest point of the canal at Greenpool Top Lock. Here we moor overnight before beginning the descent down the three locks, which were built in 1820 to replace the original flight and are set in some beautiful uplands. The locks mark the beginning of some beautiful rural landscapes composed of hillocks and distant mountains. At East Martin, the navigation passes under a double arched bridge and enters a cutting canopied by trees before opening up into moorlands and here we see that autumn is imminent. Here the canal snakes its way around the green and humpy hills which fill the landscape affording great views across the valley which is where we moor for the next couple of days. Good morning everybody. Morning everyone. And uh, welcome to our vlog. Uh, you join us on a bit of a windy sort of... Uh, windy day with some overcast, sunny Overcast yeah. sort of, yeah, not, not brilliant day. No, it's got some nice sunny periods which was what's made us um, move off. Uh, we've been moored at the outside the Anchor Inn in Salterfoot for a couple of days. Yeah, that um, was interesting. So yeah, that was a, a nice... Uh, nice experience we went out for a meal in the pub didn't we for my birthday yep and um, and they've got some interesting stalactites in the cellar haven't they oh very much so <laughs> just moving on to uh, Barn Oldswick aren't we're we? gonna yeah well we're gonna go to the top of Greenbefield Locks uh, via Barn Oldswick because we're gonna do some shopping at Asda's aren't we uh, was it Asda's or was it Not Aldi? Asda's, Aldi. Aldi. There's, an, there's an Aldi there last time we went through there the Audi wasn't there. Well, it, it was being it was, built. It was being built, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at least we'll be able to check it out this time. So, yeah, yeah. See what it's yeah. like. Just top up with a bit of shopping before we move through the um, yeah. curly whirlies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's our journey today. Uh, so we'll see you a bit later. Catch up with you later. Catch up with you later. Bye. Well, it's turned out a beautiful day. Well, beautiful morning so far. Um, we weren't expecting to move anywhere today because it's literally poured hard all night and the forecast for today was rain all day. So this is a bit of a surprise. So we thought we'd just move on. However, we're just moving to the other side of this bridge for the time being because there's a water tap here and we're going to top up with some water before we go. We had a lovely meal at the Anchor Inn the other night for my birthday. And uh, I have, whilst I go down the cellar, I have a lovely display of stalactites, which is worth a, a see if you're ever passing. So we've just topped up with water and uh, got rid of the rubbish. There's no Elson Point here and we're just moving off, heading towards Greenbefield Locks. Someone's lost their uh, bale of hay. <laughs> it must have rolled down the hill <laughs> and it's ended up in the canal. So there's just a few permanently moored boats there, which makes it a little bit tricky to get out of that mooring because it's right on a bend. And with the boats there, it was a bit tricky. I had to use the bow thrusters, but there you go, that's what they're for, isn't it?
Forest Bridge, 154A. Um, there's an Audi just over the hill there, about five minutes walk. So we've topped up with a few bits of shopping and we're on our way again. So we're just leaving our mooring at the top of Greenfield Locks. Um, we're going to stop at the water point first before we head down the locks. So we'll catch up with you then. And the services are just through this bridge on the left hand side there. Nice uh, CRT volunteer is uh, going to give us a hand down the locks, which is really lovely. And we're off into the lock. Nice and steady. down we go. The only thing we have to make sure when we're going down is that we stay this side of that line there because there's a thing called a sill which uh, I'll show you. Now. I don't know whether you can see that but there's a concrete sill just there and you need to stay, that's why the lines are there to guide you. That's the first one done. Now this particular bit here is a little bit tricky because uh, it's on a bit of a bend and there's a bridge as well. So. Yeah, this looks like uh, one boat coming up. We'll have to do a little hover. This is where Eileen gets a chance to uh, have a chat.
with the other boaters. There's some lovely views, but the clouds look a bit on ominous. in the middle lock took a little bit of a time because there was one boat going up but we're not in any rush today and it's a beautiful day so the volunteers gone down to set the third lock for us and that bridge up there was the bridge that we came across when we went for our 15 mile cycle ride from the top of um, from the top of Barrowford Locks um, and we caught a lovely picture of a rainbow here as we cycled past. third lock of the day. Not sure whether it's our last one yet. See how far we get. It's a lovely view from this lock too. Um, you can see where we've had loads of rain. The fields are flooded over there and apparently they left all of these gates open so that the water could flow down stop it from flooding at the top. So I think we were probably in the best place at the top because it has gone down by about a foot this morning when we left. So, but what a lovely view. Lots of birds over there. It's so much rain that uh, they've had to open up the uh, the locks to let the water down. But you can see where it's the uh, land is flooded over there. And a lovely swan family there, enjoying the sunshine and the breeze blowing through their wings.
This is a very fancy bridge. a lovely double arched bridge there. So I think we're just coming into East Martin. So we've just passed through East Martin and come just uh, coming through this cutting here which isn't exceptionally deep but it is cut. The canal is cut away or cut into the rock here and uh, with a lovely tree lined canopy. Well we've had about three hours cruising today and uh, we've stopped at this lovely little mooring here. And that's our view. You can see where there's another boat just the other side of the valley where the canal turn twists round the hill. And we've got some lovely views. I think we're probably going to be here for a couple of days, I think. So if you've liked this video, please give it the thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like to. Don't forget to subscribe, it does make all the difference. And uh, once you've subscribed, hit the bell icon and you'll get notifications of future videos. Thanks for watching.